Hi, this tutorial will discuss how to create a gradient background for an iPhone table view for the cell background of an iPhone table view. Um, here I'm in Photoshop Elements and I am creating a new image. I'll just give it a gradient color as the name. I've got an 80 width and a 40 height transparent background. I click OK and I am going to zoom in by 200 and then I'll click on the gradient tool and then I'll click the set foreground color and here I can uh, just choose some particular color I'll choose a darker grayish color click OK and now I'm going to drag from bottom to top and that creates the gradient and the image is pretty much done at this point um, now if you happen to uh, want to change that color just click the the uh, foreground color again and I can go with something a little bit lighter uh, right there's good and just drag again to reset the color and that one's a little bit more subtle and then I'll do file save for web and here just do a PNG-24 and I'll go ahead and save it into my project folder and now on to Xcode and in Xcode, I'll add the image that I just saved as a resource to my resources folder. And there it is. Add. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the defaults here. And inside the table view of my navigation based application, I have the self row at index method. And what I want is to paste in this code here which I've included in the blog entry as well now I'll just quickly step through what's happening um, I create the image first using the image that we just created uh, I create an instance of the image object I add it to a UI image view and then I set that UI image view to fill with the image that we just created assign it to the cell background and because that creates a retain count on the background view I go ahead and release ours so that we don't have two retains which would result in a memory leak I create a new label which is going to be the text that will display on top of the background and that's the text right there the cell bounds is going to allow this label to be the same size as the cell I'm going to clear the background of the label so that the background image will then be able to come through so the label basically will be transparent and then I'll center the text and I'll go ahead and run this and we can get a look of get an idea of what it will look like and there it is a gradient background on table view I um, hope you enjoyed this demo and you can find more like this in SDIQ for iPhone available in iTunes App Store thank you